what up, your boy Shane Daddy? Come back to another My Heroes video, and we got our weekly update here. Let's go check out our damage for, you know, see how much of an increase. It shouldn't be that much comparatively to last week. I mean, we did do some pretty. I mean, what is this? Why am I doing over two billion damage? I I honestly don't understand this. <laughs> I just did like two point three billion damage, like right off the rip. Like, come on now. I literally was just saying how I shouldn't be doing that much more damage. I honestly think that. See, like, oh, but it's. Wait a minute. What? It just, I, I don't know, guys, like, I don't know what it is with the training dummy, but I just feel like it's so random sometimes because I literally just did this like a couple minutes ago and like, I don't know. I, I, just, I would honestly disregard that first burst of damage. And let's just say I'm probably doing somewhere around 1.75 billion. Like I have the potential to basically, as you guys can see, you know, now it's slowed up. Let's just say it's like somewhere between 1.75 and 1.6 billion because that was ridiculous how it first started out. Sometimes I guess like with that initial burst, it was just such like a high amount of damage that it obviously broke what I thought we were going to pass. So I'm going to say, let's just say 1.6. We moved up a little bit, not too much. Um, so obviously that's great. So, you know, you, you love to see some progress there. The other thing I wanted to do, so someone in the comments of my last video, my last weekly update, wanted me to kind of go into the training room. So I'm gonna do that as well this time, because this isn't gonna be a long video. I really don't have anything else to say once I do like my actual progress update. Uh, it's been kind of a crazy week at work, but we'll get into that after this. Um, so we're gonna keep the boss water. So you're gonna see some decent numbers. Keep, keep it as a boss. Uh, we're not we don't want it to move we'll do a minute and we'll keep the dummy strength at like the max that it can be so the 200 let's generate that let's start attacking um all right let's see what we can do here now obviously the dps is going to be a little bit different here we're going to end up with with naturally more dps because we're going up against the water boss the reason why i do the training dummy in the regular like you know the normal area is because i don't think there's a type to that dummy it's just like a typeless enemy which I think gives a, even a better representation of what, of what the DPS should be. Now, I could be wrong with that, but that's just sort of my understanding of it. This, if we're going up, you're going up against either you go up against your weakness or you go up against your strength. So um, here, as you can see, we're at, what is that? 3.4 uh, billion that we hit just now. So, you know, it's, it's not like, uh, you know, I think like I've actually had guilds ask me, like, I think I applied to one guild and the, the, the leader asked me to like go up against the water dummy and show what my top DPS was and at the time it just wasn't nearly as good so you know I it, I have done this before but I just don't do this normally so what as you guys saw it was probably around 3.4 billion at, at the end there I mean I might have not put up as much I probably could have gotten to like 3.5 I kind of uh slacked off a little bit there but for for the people that uh for the one guy that wanted it in the comments last week there you go um, that being said, hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to touch upon uh, how the Torchbearer outfit progress is going. Uh, I'm at 82 share tokens. Uh, I believe we were at 71 last week, so we got 11 more. Uh, so I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to those that, that uh, did click on the link. And uh, as always, if you are a new player or you're an existing player making a new account um, and you want to use the link, help me out. We are trying to get to the 800 here. For the Torchbearer outfit, I will be probably wearing that for the rest of time once I do get it because it's such a cool outfit. But again, guys, if not, it's not a big deal. Uh, but I do appreciate those that click the link. That being said, let's get back to the video. All right, guys. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the stuff this week. So one of the things that I really want to start using, I want to get the Split Blaze Cloak uh, fixed so it's at all green slots or wood, uh, wood slots. So I'm getting close with that. Probably by next week, I should have it. So I'm at 204 of these jungle stones. I think I need 250. So I'm very close with that. So most likely by the next weekly update, this will be the chest piece that I'm using. I'm going to still put this in the bank. I'm not going to get rid of it. Uh, maybe I can use it for something else, but I'm definitely going to keep that. My This coat of leaves is fine for now as like my sort of like group, uh, you know, whenever I'm doing like group stuff that I need, you know, and I don't want to get rid of my sharp blade ability. Um, let's, um, I guess we could check. So astral gear, nothing new. Um, kind of a, like a bum week in terms of gear. I, I just couldn't, I don't think I got one wood, uh, one wood piece, like a new piece, even like something that like I could possibly even like compare. I've gotten all like other stuff, which is kind of, you know, kind of depressing and that's in that sense. But, uh, um, so I guess what we could check is we could go to pets here. Now the, the other thing with pets is 
Kind of an unlucky thing here. I am still stuck with the five snow griffins from last week. Now, I think I mentioned I got like one or two. Every time I was holding my breath, every time I was about to get like a legendary pet, and I just couldn't get it. Like, I, like, as you guys can see, I have a few new mythic pets. It's good because I have two of these guys. I need one more because one of the pets that I'm using in, on my team is uh, the mini uppercut. So if I get one more, I can actually bring that to three stars. That'd be helpful because I'd probably... That would probably get me above, like, where I would need to get my team strength. So if I could get that, that would be really cool. But, again, one of, like, the, the, the downsides here uh, from the week is that I still haven't gotten that sixth snow griffin that I need to get... Um, that would be the last legendary pet that I need to uh, basically max out star-wise and ascend. But uh, for now, it is what it is. I mean, we don't have enough here to even buy a legendary thing. There's nothing else here that we can get. So for now, we hopefully next week we get it. I mean, the chances are we will get it next week. It was just weird. I thought I was going to get it this week. It didn't happen. Not a big deal. Uh, soul cars, no new upgrades. Um, we might have gotten a few new things. Now, I think I mentioned in the last video, I noticed that Lily, some, some cards that like weren't dropping before are now dropping from Soul Hunter, which is pretty cool because I would like to get a maxed out Lily card. Um, I think that would be helpful for me to, to get like a, a, an attack, you know, get the main stat attack here up, up here. Obviously, like you'd hope for uh, a good four star stat bonus, but um, the fact that, like, you get the plus 10% damage is pretty awesome. I, I gotta say, for a non-weapon ability that, uh, from a soul card, that'd be pretty sick. I actually have my Lily right here. Not the best stats here. We do have the two stars, but it was a slot attack that came with four stats, so... Um, not bad. But yeah, besides that, honestly, we really haven't gotten anything that great. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate, but, you know, at some point, I'm sure maybe next week we'll get something. So... Again, that wasn't too crazy. Now we did upgrade uh, one of the runes. So what I did was I we had we had three of those level seven defense runes. Uh, I ended up taking all the aux runes that I could create. So I think I created eleven level six ones, which basically means that is two two more level sevens, and I'm I'm very close to a uh, another level seven. So I ended up making a level eight defense. We now have the level seven defense, and then I think we have. Uh, what is that the HP? So we're we're very close to making another one. Maybe next week it's either we we make one or we get close to making another one. I'm just gonna focus on these because I know like this in general just is just gonna be three defense level eights. So it's very easy to kind of figure out. I could have gone for another wood attack one, but I kind of like having the extra defense ignored here. So we're gonna leave this here and like for last. Just like th like down here would probably be attack. You probably want three attacks, or unless depending on what you're doing, I think there's like damage versus shield here as well. So I don't know. I would rather just go for the attack, like three level eight attacks. But we did add one more rune, so we are at the 1201 here, which is good. Um, the energy overload uh, overload effect here. We got the 200 plus uh, attack. The next one's kind of. I mean, this would be great. The 1400 one, the five, the plus five, but that's going to be really tough to get. I don't even know how I'm going to get that one. Regardless, we did get the 200 attack, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, moving on, let's see what else we got. I mean, with our rune, we got some gems here. Let's say runes. We got some gems here. Um, I mean, I did lock some gems up. We got wood attack and counter boost is not terrible. Um, probably this one would be the one I go for next. Um, cause this one, yeah, so I might just, I might just unlock this one. I'll keep that there and I can start leveling up this one. I'm not going to do it right now, but I do like the wood attack and the water suppression. Cause just having that extra damage versus water enemies, you know, most likely this would be the best thing for like a water boss, but going up against water bosses. But besides that, really nothing that crazy. We still need to, uh, I think we need to get one more to ascend this gem here. We need one more. Yeah, we, we don't have it yet. So, you know, we did get a decent amount of the gold ones. Actually, can I level this up? I want to, I like leveling these to 15, just as like a, all right, so there we go. Got that to 15. At least you guys got to see something there. We are, It's cool. We got our diamonds back up though. We're almost back to 1500. We had to use, I believe we had to use almost 3000 diamonds. I think it's 1500 each for the two awakenings. Um, I haven't touched anything with the awakening stuff. Uh, there's no need yet. Still the same uh, Astrolab as last week. Uh, I'll take care of the crystal ball stuff later. Soul Orb is the same. And Soul Link is basically the same as well. Um, kind of one of the unfortunate things is that I just... I, I got, I've gotten some blaster uh, shards over the week. But just I still can't get 
better stats than these two right now. The, the boss damage isn't even that. Like, I could get one with, like, 30% plus uh, boss damage. But I'm not even trying to worry about that. I'm just trying to get these. Because, realistically, I don't need crit mod right now. So, I'm at 112 or 113% crit rate. I could probably uh, switch that out for... You know, I'd rather have defense ignored because this thing can have up to like 1100 plus defense ignored. I'd love that with here. I, I think I've shown this before, but let's just take a look real quick. Um, so the defense ignore would be great as well as wood attack. You know, we could get some wood attack in there. These three stats right here, wood attack, defense ignored, boss damage would probably be the most ideal ones. It's not terrible to have crit mod, but I just have enough crit mod right now. And if I needed more, I could probably could could make something happen you know like i have if i really need crit mod you guys have seen it i have the um i have a really good card for strictly crit mod which is the abyss master it has the 27 plus 27 crit mod plus the uh the effect of it why did why did that happen come on plus the effect you get the um the, you know it, you lose some crit damage but you gain plus 10 percent crit rate that's it's just a ridiculous amount of uh, uh crit rate that you'll end up getting uh, but yeah, for now, we're just going to keep what we have and just try to do a little bit better in terms of uh, getting those stats. And the same thing here, the Lunar Support, obviously our Awakening stat was not great, but we lucked out. We got the crit damage and the boss damage. I mean, even like, even though our Defense Ignored isn't a great stat, I wanted the Defense Ignored, so it's not terrible to have. Uh, but again, um, it comes down to, I need more, I'm going to try to go for more Blaster Shards this week, and then I'll work on Lunar as well. Um, but I'll have to figure it out. Thank you to, uh, to all the people in my guild that have, uh, you know, let me know about any keys. I appreciate it because I, a few of those keys, one of them, I got like four shards. It was, it was actually a, a key that had no actual, uh, shard increase, like shard percentage increase. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how that, that, uh, happened, but, um, so realistically, uh, this week as well, I actually, I think I'm going to get into Apex Master and we still have two weeks left. So yeah, the weekly Apex tournament is over. I, I don't know where I placed in that, actually. Did I already accept? Or, I don't know. I don't know what happened. But uh, I did my my Apex tournament. Here, hold on. Let's go back. But right now, I'm, I'm third right now to go into Apex Master, which would be nice. And, uh, yeah, so I'll be Apex Master then for, like, probably, like, two weeks, right? Because we're at, we're at week... We're done with week three. We're going into week four. And then at the next week will be week five. I have to make sure I missed this last week because... For me, I think it's 9 o'clock. Someone in the comments can correct me. I believe it's 9 p.m. Eastern that this thing opens up, right? Or it's 1900 to... So what would that be? Uh, maybe it's... Is that 7 or 8? I can't think off the top of my head. It might be 8 o'clock. Uh, it might be 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Eastern, I guess, because this is like central time. So it's one hour past. So instead of 19 to 20, it's really... For me, it's 20 to 24, so... Yeah, it's like 9, 9 p.m. Eastern, unless I'm doing the math wrong. I'm trying to do this off the top of my head. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy that we got third here. We're going to get, we're definitely going to get promotion because this it's Sunday night almost. I'm recording this, so definitely going to get that. Um, I think I might try to do some rift progression next week. Um, as you guys can see, we definitely got some stuff done. I'll, those videos will come out soon. Uh, I still actually need to do one more astral thing, but... Not a big deal. And I just need I just need to start making some more progress in the tower because this reset and we I could definitely make some progress here for sure. But uh yeah guys, that not not a long not a big weekly update this week. Uh my job just still crazy. It's only gonna get crazier. Um like I said, it really ends September 15th for me, or in terms of the like the the a lot of extra hours. So for the time being, guys, uh you know, I'm gonna keep putting out videos. You'll keep seeing them. It's not like I'm gonna stop doing videos. But uh, yeah, guys, that'll be the end of this one. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'll see you during the week. Peace. Your boy Shank Daddy here. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw, drop a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you boys and girls in the next video.